Intents in Android is a messaging object you can use to request an action from another app component. Although intents facilitate communication between components in several ways, there are three fundamental use cases. For starting an activity, starting a service, or delivering a broadcast. So you want to be a professional Android app developer, but you don't know where you should start, what things you should learn. You came to the right place. Welcome to our top bestseller Android app development course, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of Android app development. Starting an activity. We use intents to start an activity, which is an activity represent a single screen in an app. You can start a new instance of an activity by passing an intent to start activity method. The intent describes the activity to start and carries any necessary data. We use intents to start a service. A service is a component that performs operation in the background without a user interface. We use intents to deliver a broadcast. A broadcast is a message that any app can receive. The system delivers various broadcasts from syst for system events, such as when the system boots up, or the device starts changing. Look at this image. The activity one or activity A, calling the start activity method, passing through the intent. Intent is passed to the Android system. Android system pass another intent that directs it towards the start on create method for the activity B. Don't worry, we will clarify this in a very simple application, but please pay attention with me. There are two main uh, types of intents, explicit intents and implicit intents. Let's start with the explicit intents. Explicit intents specify which application will satisfy the intent by supplying either the target application's package name or a fully qualified component class name. You'll typically use an explicit intent to start a component in your application because you know the class name of the activity or service you want to start. For example, you might start a new activity within your application in response to a user action or start a service to download a file in the background. Also, we'll, talk in, uh, we'll make a, a standalone app and a whole app talking about explicit intents and one for the implicit intents. Implicit intents do not name a specific component, but instead declare a general action to perform which allows a component from another app to handle it. For example, if you want to show the user a location on a map, you can use an implicit intent to request that another capable application show a specified location on a map. For example, you can request from Google Maps. This is implicit intents. And this is the, these are the types of intents, explicit and implicit. This is a very quick introduction to intents. Now let's jump into Android Studio and start building two apps, one for, for uh, using the explicit and one for using the implicit.